Hello adventurers and welcome to day nine. Of course, I am not on the fantasy right now. My initial intro, basically there was so much wind you couldn't even understand what I was saying. So decided to do a redo. So this is day nine. We are pulling into uh, Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point and uh, gonna just enjoy the day. First time ever. This is the second time the fantasy has gone into this particular on uh, this new island destination for Disney. This is our first time and we're excited to see if there's made some changes. We've heard about the flies. And in fact, I was prepared to show some essential equipment going into Lookout Key, the fly swatters, but then we heard, hey, it may have gone better. So that said, let's go see first time ever Lookout Key Lighthouse Point, Lighthouse Point, here we come. Let's do it. A morning with a little quick breakfast, continental breakfast, like we showed you on whatever day, I don't remember. Got some fruit, some donuts, and muffins, and lemon. Danish, maybe, cinnamon roll, as well as apple juice and orange juice, and Mama's Shubu chocolate milk. I was going to say the 12 minute mile. 12 minute walk, that's better. 12 minute walk, it's not a mile, I don't think it's a mile. Or not even a quarter of a mile, but our 12 minute walk. They're waving. Yeah. Let's go have some breakfast at the Royal Court. A little sit down before we get off the ship and hit Disney's Lookout Key. Let's do it. To infinity and beyond. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Let's go have some breakfast. All right, so even though the menu has not changed, let me just show you again. This is sort of the standard breakfast menu when you eat uh, sit down. And then let me show Breezy Girl because we all got basically the same thing Eggs Benedict with hash browns and Kiggy Wiggies. You got the Belgium waffle. And I got some bacon. Welcome to Lookout Key. And here is the long pier that everyone is talking about who's come and visited the new island destination. Because Lookout Key is on the island of Eleuthera. Whereas Castaway Key is island of itself owned by Disney. So. This is a destination, but basically private destination for Disney. Very windy today. Let's take a little look, see the look of the Fent Sea. Very windy here. You can't even hear me, but you see the water. Very rocky. All right, so this is, I don't know, a little bit past halfway, maybe. A little view of the ship. Nice, nice view of the ship here. This little lookout component. Wow, the water is very clear. Look at that, beautiful. Can see down the very bottom. And that's how much further we have. All right, so we're just about there. Yeah, you know, I think as everyone has said in previous vlogs, I'd say 10, 12 minutes probably. I mean, it's not horrible, but you know, if it was a lot hotter, it could be a tad bit uncomfortable. But we're just about ready to set foot for the first time on the actual island. So, and it looks like over there is where you're going to get to all your water sports, probably, like Marge's Barges in uh, Castaway Key. That's probably where you get, uh, you know, your boat excursions, all that stuff. All right, 
Finally, we're on Lookout Key. So this is the first tram uh, stop that takes you basically to the main area where everything is at. And this is not walkable, at least as of yet, like it is on Castaway Key. So you have to take the tram to the main area. And there we go. All right, let's come over here and get a little bearings. Always nice to take a look at the directory. So basically that's the, here's where we came in at, the ship. Here's where we're at. Family cabanas. I have to take the tram all the way to the, and then really everything is kind of right in the line as far as the adult area and uh, the rest of the family beaches. All right, they do have some places, uh, to, uh, area to get a drink, as well as sort of the first and last chance stand. Okay, it's open this time. See another box where it's last chance. So, very colorful trams here on the Dust Island. I'm just gonna call it an island. I'm gonna stop saying island destination. Right, so we just arrived at the Goombe tram stop. That's where the main area is next to the ship uh, where that tram just got on. This is where you only stop to get off of. And up here is where you get your towels. Rocky Point bicycle rentals. Do you see some cycles? That's been sort of new. Uh, they didn't have them when the first ship came in, but they've got them now. Pretty cool. Might have to do that at some point, probably not today, but guest services. And then Disney Tings. Probably would advise you to hit the Disney Tings after a while because there's a quite a big line. So I don't think that's worth wasting some more time. Maybe come back on that one. But I think we're headed to the beach, right, Mama? Maybe. Go explore around. All right, they have a pretty cool photo op here. I can see the water, and it is a windy here at Lookout Key. Treasures of Eleuthera. So clearly they've got, uh, you know, some more growth here as this was just opened up. But I think once it gets done, it's gonna be beautiful. I think some of the obstacles that they've created, you know, and I, kudos to Disney for, uh, you know, preserving the environment. I think it's gonna, you know, a little uncomfortable sometimes for guests. Um, if it was a hotter day for some people, that might not be such a cool walk across that uh, way. You know, it wasn't that long. It's not strenuous or anything like that, but you know, it is uh, maybe a little taxing for some of your guests. I think these are various eating places. Like to see that Diz, you got the big fans out there. I said, that's the way you're gonna keep away those flies. Got those big fans going, so we'll have to see if it does the job. Because as I said in my opening, we forgot the essentials, the essential equipment to look out key, flyswatter. water. But we've seen it's improved since uh, they just opened up, so that's pretty cool. Right now we're just at some bathrooms. We're gonna go to the beach here in a little bit and go to go see what the fly situation is. And let me just take a little look, see. You can see a little dune before you get to the beach there. All right, let me switch over to the water cam. So gonna be a little bit challenged when it comes to the audio, but let's go in the water. So this is again, kind of a dune 
you have sand dune, you have to go over. Yeah. That's what I mean. Love the beach. No, you can't hear me, but I'm about to do a voice over here. Love the beach. Love the sand. Wonderful. Very windy. like backside if you can hear me there's what it looks like Go get some lunch and uh, let's see how bad the flies are. Now, let's just go get some good lunch, healthy lunch. Hopefully, don't get sick. I'll cross that one. How pretty. All right, so we're gonna go to. Well, I'm just gonna read it up there because I forget. I mean, I'm so used to cookies one, cookies two. This is true, true. And I think there's just a true. And then there's a true true. And this is true true. True 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 two. So actually there's a true true barbecue. And then there's a true true two barbecue. This is pretty cool. They don't have this. I have kind of what they've got. Uh-oh. Crispy spice. Do I see right? Holy cow. Disney, are you kidding me right now? We got barbecue ribs, roasted uh, rotisserie chicken over there. All right, let me show you a little bit of what we got here. So that mac and cheese, that's different. They don't have that hot dog and uh, French fries. They don't have that. That's nice. And they brought back here. I'm gonna show you mine. Yep, that's right. That's a crispy chicken. They used to have that all the time on Castaway Key, and they did away with it. They brought it back with French fries. And then what did you get, Mama? You got ribs and tomatoes, mac and cheese, and chicken, rotisserie chicken. All right. And Bree's got about the same thing, I think. Hamburger or? She got the chicken. She got the chicken too. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I didn't see one fly up there. Definitely like some of the early vlogs uh, with the fantasy and the magic that first rolled in here. Not one fly did I see up there. All good. Now they're serving it to you. Uh, or they're giving your trays that you pick what you want actually but um they will serve you if you want to but that was pretty good i think the key is as i said before they listen to me disney no you didn't listen to me you got fans bugs don't like fans these little things that i'm gonna turn around at eh, not so hot these little things right here they don't work so good those big things yeah they work big time all right very good meal reminds me of the old time castaway key stuff very good, and some new stuff too. Glad that they kind of expanded the menu. Uh, now we'll see if they carry that over to Castaway Key. Not, probably. But anyway, mac and cheese. They've never had mac and cheese ever on Castaway Key. And rotisserie chicken, never. I, I remember ever. Um, like I said, the crispy chicken, it went out, I don't know, some time ago. Now it's here. And french fries, they've never had french fries over Castaway Key. So well done. Well done, and nice job on the flies. Good job. Now, don't need to bring a fly swatter for your essentials here at Lookout Key. All right, I think this is Disney Tings, right? Yeah. Cute, I like that. That's uh, 
What is this spirit jersey? It's it kind of sort of, yeah. Yeah. I like it. And then mini. Other shirts. There's towels here. I think that should be Donald. Cool. Beach blanket. I like these cups here. Did you get one of these, Mama? A cool picture here. A little bit of a madhouse in here. So I really can't show a lot of stuff because it's just crazy, crazy, cray cray. Oh yeah, look at that one down there. That's pretty, huh? Wow. Do you think they went nuts here? Looks like Walmart. Oh, look at Mickey. And this is the True True barbecue. We eat a True True 2. Sorry, bud. But they both have the same thing, just like at Cookies. I think this is the, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's called Scuttle's Cove, but it's the kids club version with splash pad. Oh, here comes Daisy. So this is, uh, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but this is the family little water slide area. So it's got some, got some pretty cool slides, not all kitty slides, but. Okay, let's go see some Junkanoo.
ourselves some smoothies at Sensational Smoothies. Here are some of the options that you have. All right, let me show all these. I know she got the coconut. I know you got the mango. mango. Mama, you got the pineapple pleaser. Yeah. And I got the tropical teaser. All right, those were sensational smoothies <laughs> from sensational smoothies themselves. They were fantastic. I think everybody loved what they got, and well, we liked each other's actually. So that's a definite must when you come here to Lookout Key. We are now going to head back to the tram. I'm just going to say to you, a not so expert because this is the first time we've ever been here. I'd go to the bathroom before you hit the tram because it could be a while between the time you get from the tram here back to the ship tram and then do the long walk. So just FYI, I make sure you go to the bathroom, you're well hydrated and ready to go. Because who knows how long it would be. Anyway, next time we're gonna see you, we'll be back on the ship. day. Overcast, but decent. And now, well, it's pretty rough. All right, after a relaxing nap, and the ship is really rocking, um, we got uh, dinner in Animator's Palette tonight, which we get to do the drawings, which is always fun. We haven't done that in a long time. You don't get to do that in uh, sailings less than uh, three, or actually I think less, less than seven, seven nights, yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that, and we kinda like the menu in Animator's Palette. But first, we're gonna do a mama's favorite thing. Extra tea, my dear. Rapunzel. And here is our menu for Animator's Palette. How cute is that? the uh, deck three, uh, sorry, deck four. No, sorry, deck three would be up, up to deck four of the uh, London sky. A lot of pretty uh, pictures on the way down the stairs. So, animator's palette looks a little different when you do the drawing, usually buzz and well, incredible if somebody was up there. And now we've got all the drawings because we're going to draw, or attempt to draw. The cool thing on the Seven Night Cruises, like I was saying, is that you get to do a drawing and then you're gonna see your cartoon up on, or if you're drawing, gonna come to life as a cartoon up on the screen. Um, and hopefully we're in a really good spot to see them. But I got the first one done because I'm the most artistic of the family. Um, let me show you mine. Look at that piece of art right there. Never too late. Anybody can draw. Anybody can cook. Anybody can draw. Hey, dearest. Let's see your beautiful drawing. All right. Walt would be very happy. He has a little bit of a too skinny arm. Yeah, and a little bit too thicker one on there. So yeah, that's all right. That's all right. All right, Breezy Girl drew Petunia, Petunia. All right, that's a winner, winner, winner. Blue Blush. Blue Blush, all right. And here is our bread service for a day nine. And this is a caramelized onion and dried tomato dip. We get it done. Wow! Now that's what I call a colorful entrance. <laughs> oh, I am 
folks. Ah, oh, gosh. Thanks for all the great drawings. These are just what I need to whip up a little animation magic. <laughs> I'll be back later, but right now, we invite you to sit back and relax as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. All right, so this is the pasta dish. It's like the black travel pasta per sets, but it's called pork. I think it's porcini. Sacchetti, but I'm probably saying it wrong. So all three of us, kids and I got that. Sure, thank you. All right, and I got the uh, Malaysian chicken saute, and it comes with this like peanut kind of dipping thing, sauce, I guess. And that's what it looks like right there. And that's what the sauce looks like. So both of them got soup and, oh, oh, well, they got different soups. They both got soup, but they got different. You got cheddar broccolini. Right there. And Kigi, you got clam chowder. Oh, I thought you don't eat clam. Corn chowder, okay. I'm not gonna be fancy and all of a sudden those tomato cucumbers and it's just a wet salad. Take it a couple spins. All right, bon appetit. Three of us got the same thing, and one person did not. I wonder who that is. All right, so Keeg's got, you get three guesses, but first two don't count. Mac and cheese. And how cute, got a little Mickey ketchup. Breezy got the chicken schnitzel. Mama. My dearest, you got the chicken schnitzel as well. I got the chicken schnitzel as well. Yummy, yummy. Awesome, thank you. All right, so Kigi's, you got the cheesecake, right? Really, you got the same thing I did, the peach tart. Looking good with a little, saw a little cream action going over the top. And then my dearest got the celebration cake. And then we got the chocolate, chocolate decadence for the table to share. That's mine. That's mine. And it's going real slow. <laughs> Nerd. All right, so we came back to our room and on top of getting our 
normal daily, nightly chocolates. We got a crab, but that's not all. Because we are in the first year of opening of Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. How cute is that? Very cute. Love it. All right. Day nine, Day in, nine the books. in the book. But it was a fun one. It was a fun one. So some we start more first. Some more first. Um, so to start again, leisurely breakfast at the Royal Court. We always like to do that. Just so much, so much more nice, but better. So <laughs> not much the better. chaos of yeah, not the chaos. Um, and then what's nice about now you don't ever know, I guess, which way you're going to turn in, right? Because you said you can go both ways into yeah, lookout. Yeah, I read that you, they can dock either direction, either on the from the starboard or the port side. So we so were we lucky. Out. We were on the port side. Um, so we got to see the whole um, lookout key in its glory. And the, uh, how do you put it? The um, mm -hmm. Miracle Cement Mile, half oh mile, quarter goodness. of a mile. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. I, I don't know we should leave. Look, it, it is not a bad, it is not a bad walk. Okay, look, we didn't time it because hey, thousands Everybody's of people does. Yeah. That, yeah. It, it's a 10 or 12 minute, 12, 10 or 12 minute walk. Um, it is probably the less than a quarter of a mile, maybe. I don't know, probably not even that much. Um, but man, I'm gonna tell you, we lucked out because if it was blaring hot, woo, you would be sweaty mess getting on the land. But wait, you could have a day like ours and end up on the way but, back getting right. caught in the elements. That's right. So. They didn't think about that too. But I mean, in all fairness now, that is a potential possibility to get to the tram stop, the first tram stop at Castaway Key too. So. You could get very soaked, but this you're really going to get soaked if it's if it's raining anyway, as, as we uh, were coming back. But uh, anyway, you timed it. We did one picture actually. It wasn't that long. I felt maybe maybe shaved 20 minutes <laughs> off. I think 20 25 minutes off, um, and it took an hour to get from just under an hour the from the time that we got off the ship to when we made it to the tram stop. Ah, whatever that's called yeah. Goombe. Goombe. yeah just under an hour. okay so just to back up a little bit so once you get off the ship you get to the tram area that takes you then to the main area that's where we really waited for a tram um to get onto but once at the main area impressions that was lovely it's very nice um <clears throat> it's much more spread out yep. than castaway um, but because I think it's covering a larger this, it area, seems like it, yeah. but keeping in mind that that's everything. That's the family beach and Serenity yeah, it's Bay. It's all there. It's not broken up. Yes. The only difference <clears throat> being the family cabanas yeah. that are there um, at the on the island. Yeah. Um, when you called. get when you get initially yeah. onto um, the island. So that's what does make it a little different. Um, and you know we don't know we don't have any reference point as to what castaway key looked like when it first opened up but yeah. it's going to be beautiful i mean you know there's still a lot of vegetation stuff to grow in and stuff like that but tons and tons of chairs i know yeah. i had seen some things about oh there's nowhere to sit we didn't even try to get uh, a Not spot a on yeah. the beach yeah. we stuck to this little cove right outside um one of the bars yeah and where there was maybe six or eight different sets yep. of umbrellas and, and chairs. So plenty, and, yep. And that was a good spot for us. It was pretty centrally And located. I should add, because I know some of the first vlogs says there were no bikes, the bikes are in, you can do bikes. We saw some people getting ready um, to go on a tour they, actually yeah, on bikes. Yeah, I'll go on a tour on a bike. And they do have the um, sand wheel kind of There were chair. wagons yeah. and there were yeah. strollers. Um, so I think that's great. Yep. They did definitely do that. Um, so we did a little beach stuff. Got to put that a little action in. Water's beautiful. Beautiful temperature. Beautiful color. Just unbelievable. Got a little bit but of a reef. I don't there. even know if the vlogs like yeah. color you can do justice it's, to it. It's wild. And yeah. we did not have the sunniest of days. No. So I can imagine on a bright bluey blue sky yeah. day that Gorgeous. you would have even yeah. more of that turquoise and yeah. just that clear you could see through to the bottom and the yeah. sand was fantastic yeah. so beautiful space and i think that really showed in the video just i mean crystal clear you could see the reef no fishies but you could see the reef um and then we ate and i'm going to tell you this isn't one impressed impressed look kudos to disney it was from the get-go 
the fly situation was crazy. I was gonna make a joke and actually bring a fly swatter, say essential equipment to go and look out key, but I didn't have to. They, you know, they they did it right. There's they, a lot yeah. we saw for the like preview cruise yeah. and the inaugural. I didn't see any, there were no flies like in the pavilion where we ate. I yep. saw a couple of flies around near where Tim got his sandwich on, on the There's outside. Um, but other than that, yeah. And up against the soda fountain, Nothing like one you of saw. the soda yeah. fountains, there were some flies. Um, so now they have fans. I mean, I don't know if they sprayed the little magic stuff I or not, know. but they have fans. Flies do not like fans. They're the big sort of sports fans you might see on the field or something. Totally, totally fine. Yeah. Totally fine. So it was great. We and, didn't, I didn't have to ward off things at lunch. Yeah. I was afraid we would have to like cover with napkins and stuff and no. eat. No. So we didn't have to do anything like good that. Good job there. The kudos don't stop there because I'm going to say, Good job, variety of food, Disney. Holy cow. Yeah, we had some great Wow, food. I love it. I mean, we have, on several vlogs, we have said, Disney, what did you do with the spicy chicken sandwich? <laughs> Boom, they brought it back to Look Out Key. Which I know you and Brielle were happy wow. about. Wow, thank you. And never, like said in the vlog, never seen mac and cheese. No, mac and cheese was delicious. Never and I had rotisserie chicken. Never seen that. And it was very, like, I don't know what kind of seasoning, but it was flavored very nicely and nice and moist. French fries. So, yeah. Kids Never were seen happy French, about fries. The French fries. Yeah. So, um, I had the ribs. What I ate of them was good. Um, the only thing I wish that we saw more of, and maybe we just missed it, was like dessert options. Yeah. On Castaway, you have a few little things there to choose from, and the cookies. We had the cookies. The cookies were good. And ice cream. Yep, and the kids, we found the ice cream later. Um, but maybe, maybe something so there. We do recognize we may have missed some part yeah. of that place. There may but be more options. More to happen. explore yeah. next time. So, Shopping was <clears throat> nuts. Crazy. I'm just going to say it like that. When Whacked we arrived, out. there was already a line out and around. We didn't even bother. So it was like we were going to get the picked over yeah. stuff. It, it is what it is. That was, a, that was a poor excursion in itself right there. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. And then the the, the Eleuthera shop. Yeah. There, there were completely, by yeah. the time we got there, empty like areas were, it looked like they'd just been wiped yeah. out of whatever it was. So it would have been interesting to know maybe what the merch what was yeah. um, that they sold out of. Um, but we're not about that. We yeah. chose to spend our time at the beach and we just circled back around later. So, and I, I can't really give you, you know, first I went up and thought, hey, go back later, but it didn't matter. So <laughs> it was so well, It was just crazy. Very so, busy. Yeah. Um, and and I, maybe part of it is, well, not really, because it just was, this is new destination anyway. I was, I was going to say maybe part of it was the second time Fantasy's been here. really doesn't matter, because that's probably going to no, be the same way. No, it's a new stop anyway. for pretty much everybody. Yeah. There may be so, some people on our sailing that had done um, the inaugural, maybe. Yeah. possibly. Um, but for the rest of us, it was our first time. All right. And then um, I, I think, another again, kudos. So on Castaway Key, they just have the little splash air. It's totally blinking right now little splash, splash area for kiddos. This one, they have a splash area in the kids club and a family splash area. Yeah, it was really cute. That was cool. I wish the kids would have felt more. Yeah. They were, by the time we made our way over there, yeah. they were tired. Um, yeah, tired. <laughs> we were all tired. Um, and they're a little big for some of yeah. the slides and still, stuff. It's a cool concept. They have the big like dumping yeah. buckets on your head yeah. and things and just a nice yeah. little area and some seating around. That's where we had yeah. our smoothies. Um, rose right outside of that, so it was nice. And we popped over to the little character beach bash, um, which had Goofy and Chip and Dale. Showed you a little of that. And that was a little bit young for yeah. our kiddos, so we just watched a little to see bit. Characters, yeah. yeah, saw the characters in their outfits, and then kind of um, moved on to other things. The Goombe Cultural Center though, yeah. our kids did enjoy that. They got to participate, they got to like ring some bells yeah. and um, got to the actually Junkanoo. see yeah, the rush. Junkanoo Rush yep. come through. So. And that was nice, that was a nice treat. Right. And then before, well, we saw the clouds rolling in, we did enjoy some smoothies at the uh, Sensational Smoothie Place. That was really good. So definitely make your way there. Um, and then, we sort of seen what happens with that long trip because man it poured we had some inclement yeah. weather we could tell like weather was rolling in we made our way to the trams and maybe halfway through yeah. our tram ride it just poured complete downpour yeah. 
and you're in an open air tram, the only thing we had was the cover and this was like sideways rain. Yeah. And they dropped us off and we were kind of on our own to get all that way back to the Well, show. they did hand out some ponchos. We Those got a good. couple of ponchos, which did help yeah. a little bit, but um, that's a long track yeah. to make when you're dealing with the elements. Yeah. So then back on ship, we did um, animators palette, which we have not done in a long time. Well, we've done the, animators, oh, but not yeah, the animation. Not the, you know what I meant, yeah. Yeah, because you've got to be on those longer yep. sailings for that one. So that was fun. Um, got to draw and we enjoyed the dinner too. It was a good dinner. Yeah, yeah. Dinner. Cool. Not our favorite yeah. menu, but we definitely found some things that we could enjoy. And so the kids are upstairs doing uh, Captain Marvel, I think is on the... Yeah, they decided the to go center. take in some yeah. funnel vision since this cruise is winding down. So I think all in all, we both decided that, hey, we've got to do a magic run. I know. Okay, and come back to Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point because it, it, it it's just going to grow and it's going to be beautiful. It really and is going to be beautiful. We yeah. did not get to take so, the trail. The trail. Yeah, and we so... didn't get to do the trail. We yeah. just ran out of time yeah. and, and energy <laughs> yeah. for that. So that's on our next time to-do list. So definitely, I think they made some great improvement and uh, well well done of taking a, a note of the uh, complaints or the frustrations of your guests because clearly they, they listened. So, um, so that said, that's day number nine. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're up for adventure. And what do we say? Onward to our next adventure. Bye for now. Bye.